Well, right here in the Midwest, we have a very impressive art center, and it's right here in our own backyard. And every time you visit, something new is happening. Let's go see what's happening today. Well, the Des Moines Art Center is full of beautiful contemporary art, but just as beautiful and contemporary are the buildings themselves. We're back with Jeff Fleming, the director here at the Des Moines Art Center. Jeff, what can you tell me about the architect of this particular building? This is the, the architect of this building is I. M. Pei. He's a Chinese American architect and in fact when he established his solo studio this was one of his first projects it was built in 1968 the first building of the art center was built by Elio Serin in 1948 so 20 years later there was a need to expand and that that need was for large-scale works and I know we've talked earlier about the Jackson Pollock mural which is on display here at the art center and that was painted in 1943 so that's a perfect example of the change. So this building is totally different than the Saarinen building. It's massive, it's open, it's heavy, uh, it's made of two materials, glass and concrete primarily. But Jackson Pollock's painting is an example of why this was needed, because Saarinen's building was built for easel-sized paintings, and this building was built for large-scale sculptures and paintings. So in 20 years, you can see that drastic change in architecture, but it was because of the drastic change in art. Makes sense. Well, I, and I agree, the heaviness of this building, in contrast to all this beautiful light that's pouring in from the roof, it's just amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about the roof here? Oh, absolutely. It's a beautiful, it's a, a butterfly roof. So, of course, uh, made of concrete. So, of course, it's very heavy and, and, and very uh, structurally intense and psychologically heavy as well. But it's filled or surrounded by large windows. In fact, the whole building is open up to the park so that you have a view of the landscape. So it becomes a part of the landscape. So as it is heavy, it is equally open and airy because of those windows and that, that light and that connection to the landscape around it. And the concrete isn't just the regular concrete that I'm used to seeing. I mean, it has great texture and what's going on with it? It's just uh, beautiful. Actually, actually, there's several things about the concrete. The aggregate or the stone in the concrete, I.M. Pei took it from Saarinen's building. So the, the, the same stone that Saarinen used in the first building is the aggregate in this concrete. But it's also bush hammered concrete. In other words, it was formed and then there was a template or a pattern and it was literally bush hammered or, or hammered a way to create this uh, linear texture within the concrete so it's not flat, uh, a flat concrete wall, it's a textured wall. Now this building is actually um, now what, on the Register of National <coughs> Historic Places? It is. Places? Two of our three buildings are on the National Registry, the Saarinen Building as well as this building. And we're assuming that our third building, the Richard Meyer Building, built in 1985, will, will have its day on the National <laughs> Registry as well. I'm sure it will. So what kind of art do you have displayed right now in this building? Well, oftentimes we try to merge the period of the architecture with the period of the art that is displayed in it. Here, since this building was built in 1968, it looks at minimalist work, or minimal work, in other words, work that the ingredients that made the artist pared down to its simplest forms, as well as uh, some pop work, for example, uh, Roy Lichtenstein's pop art objects. And you can see a couple of other pieces. They're part of Tony Fair's exhibition, which is a current exhibition in our main gallery. He's a contemporary artist, but he draws from some pop sensibilities as well. Now, if viewers are wanting to come here and visit, I know they can do that for free, Absolutely. but they can also get more information. You have a great website. Uh, Des Moines Art Center.org. Well, thank you so much, sure. Jeff. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>